one second Instagram, waiting for Facebook. And all right, so we're good. Sorry. I know I need my drink. All right, so the 361 A-Rod coming to you live. No Tomatoes podcast in the studio. Then from the back, then from the top. So today we are doing a unboxing. Uh, the boxing we're undoing, unboxing we're doing is uh, nomadic subscription boxes. Monthly subscription box, they send you some goodies every month, as do most subscription box packages. Uh, there are some that do every three months um, and stuff like that. Or they send it, what is it, I think like every six to eight weeks, depending on who you get. So the one we have is nomadic. They more of our, what do you say, outdoorsman style. So camping is uh, one of the big stuff. They have water filtration and everything like that. Uh, Facebook, what's going on? Uh, so Facebook, these are the boxes here. Nomadic, nomadic. All right, there's one here. You can still see it's still sealed. I haven't opened it yet right there. That's one box and here's the other one. See, it's still sealed. This is not my tape. This is not my tape. All right. There's two different boxes. They came together in one box. So, yeah. That's good team. So first off, I want to say I hope everyone's doing good today. Uh, opening these boxes is just regular little box cutter knife. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Songo, what's up? Pelican, <laughs> maybe later, not tonight, not tonight. All right, so, sorry guys. We're gonna open our first box from Nomadic. It says, we go where others won't. It's a good little, I won't say motto, but you know. So I'll just cut it open here. Open the box, I'll let y'all see first dibs. First dibs there. I see that a little better. All right, so pulling first thing out. Quick Trip Essentials. I believe that's the box I got, Quick Trip Essentials. Instagram, do you, how many do I have? Like oh, two, all right, never mind Instagram. All right, Facebook, Quick Trip Essentials. It says right there, all right. So it says, what's inside? Let's see, Cold Tree Nomad Packable Duffel Bag. Ooh, got a duffel bag in here. Uh, let's see, Vapor 0.7 liter wide mouth anti bottle, Gear Aid 550 paracord, Gear Aid five uh Gear Aid camp carabiner, and so those are the one two those are the four items it looks like it's in here. Uh, it has some camping hacks, guys. So it says organizing your campsite can often be a challenge when you're up against inclement weather or tight space. Use the essential tips to quickly organize and set up your next trip. One, place your tent on a surface that is as flat as possible to prevent flooding in extreme weather conditions and give you the most comfortable sleep, which is obviously very, very important. You want to make sure that you don't put yourself in a situation that can cause illness or injury to yourself. And also at the same time, just because of the wilderness, wilderness, guys, doesn't mean you can't get some good sleep, all right? Two, keep your gear inside the tent or on a line, which means keep it up elevated, um for rain or other creatures. It says, it is safest in the wildlife around you for no gear, food, or trash to be left on the ground. We recommend you use the 550 paracord and the carabiner to hang your gear up high to avoid your pack from tipping over or any animals getting inside. So it's a very good tip. Three, regardless of your adventure, to stay clean, organized, and ensure your gear is easily accessible, pack your personal items, camping gear, and food in separate kits or bags. So don't put any of your medicines or ointments in with your food because you want to make sure you still have access to that food because who knows if something goes wrong you may be stuck out there for longer than anticipated so make sure you pack your stuff in separate goodie bags four pack a couple extra usable bags for dirty clothes muddy boots wet gear dirty dishes uh where is it dirty dishes or trash keep you your campsite clean and happy, you can thank us later, which is obviously good. We want to try to take more than what we bring is one of the mottos. We go to the beach down here in Corpus, 
take more than what you bring means if you got trash around the area go ahead and pick up that extra little can or two that was around your area take it with you and throw it away dispose of everything properly and five don't forget to pack heaviest to lightest no matter what kind of backpack you're using or what type of adventure pack in your bag with the heaviest items on the bottom of your backpack you are using and light accessible items on top they will distribute their weight properly and prevent that back ache you always get Another one you always want to do, guys, is carry your backpack as high as possible, close to your back. You don't want it loose and hanging down. So, let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, first thing, it's wrapped in this nice little sticker right there. You go to pop it open. Do it on camera here. Do it on camera. There we go. Alright, so the first item up I've grabbed is the camp carabiner, camp carabiner, it says hang gear at camp, camp mosquitoes, alright, so easy to suspend gear from 550 paracord with the camp carabiner, it features a unique twist and clip design, keep gear high and dry without it sliding around, hold up to 25 pounds in this one carabiner, oh, excuse me guys. It says you can suspend water bottles, lanterns, dry bags, packs, or speakers. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out the best way to open this. Probably just going to cut it here on the sides. Alright. So this is the camp carabiner here, guys. See that right there? See it right there? Camp carabiner. This is a nice little snaps back into place, so that's good. You want to attach it real quick. Spins. Spins. You can, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but you see it does spin. And it has a twist and lock, so if you look there on Instagram, I'll get to you in a second, Facebook. It's to slide your paracord in there, so that way you can suspend it from above. So there's your opening. And you see it goes twist and lock. Now Facebook, if the video quality isn't good enough for you, keep watching and sharing the video anyways. And it will be on, it's on Instagram Live right now also, but it will be on YouTube here in about an hour. So if you don't like the quality, just give me a second and you can watch it on YouTube or go to Instagram if you follow me there. Instagram also, what's going on, Roll? There, Lisa. So, I'm not sure what it opens for, but it does open. And it locks and spins. Like I said, it's pretty cool. The carabiner does slip back, snap back, and it will hold up to 25 pounds. It's pretty sturdy. I'll see it breaking or anything like that. So, I'm going to put this off to the side. It says. Well, let's see, it has instructions on how to attach it to the 550 paracord. I'm actually going to do that here in a second when I get to the 550 paracord. Talking about the paracord, it says, stop at nothing to get, or I'm sorry, uh, the carabiner. It says, the twist and clip design keeps your gear off the ground. No one likes your gear sliding around. Carabiner will always come in handy. Suspend your water bottle or your speaker on your next excursion or off your backpack slash hammock. There you go. All right. Put that to the side. Trash right there. So next is our 7.7.07 liter wide mouth anti bottle. All right. This also comes with its own little carabiner, as you can see. That does snap back also. This part here locks on really good. If it's open, it does bend a little bit, but I don't see that being an issue. Let's see, it's a Vapor. Looks like that's the brand. Vapor. Vapor. Let's see what it says. Opposite of your average water bottle, this anti bottle is foldable, freezable, reusable, and attachable. Easy to wash, store, or take on the go. This bottle is a game changer. No more of that cramming to fit in the large metal bottle into your luggage. Instead, simply fold and store your anti bottle in seconds for your next adventure. So, obviously, I would suggest. There you go. So there's the lid, it's a flip top. 
Is it right there? Flip top, right there. And I would think this is for release some pressure there. I'm really not sure. This has no instructions, literally. So, your guess got this as good as mine. But it does have the carabiner to hang from your paracord to keep off the ground or animals from getting to it. And it's just a twist spill, water side till. You got your O-ring right there. There it is here, O-ring. So it is watertight, which is the most important thing. You don't want to lose water or you're out camping or you're in a survival situation. You always need to have water with you. So let's read this real quick. It says, all right, that was a red dial. That's it. All right. Let's go with the paracord now. So paracord also, like the other two items, comes with a carabiner. This one is actually more of a metal material. And it just says Gear A 550 paracord. It's heavy duty, it says. It says use this heavy duty 100% nylon paracord to secure a shelter, hang a bear bag, or create a survival bracelet for a camping or backpack adventure. Uh, strong, robust, multi-purpose. Now, so do not use this for climbing. So, they this is 30 feet, which isn't bad. It's 30 feet of 550 paracord, guys. So this, I'm going to open it a little bit, which I'm probably going to regret it. What's up, baby girl? I see you, Julian. Sam, what's up? So, here's the paracord piece. So, to do this for your carabiner, it's going to be kind of hard solo. So you put it right down the middle, like that. See that? Put it right down the middle. And all you do is twist in both directions. And now it's locked. See that? Twist and lock. That's it. So to undo it, all you're going to do is twist it back this way. And then pull it out. It's kind of hard doing it backwards on the camera. but So it's attached. And there you go. That's it. Also, I said you have this. Another thing about these carabiners, they don't seem very hard to use. So I'm just going to pull it there. See that? Real easy. Just bam. There you go. So you need to attach this in a quick hurry. Um, that you can do that. Let's check the one for the water bottle now. So here it is, a little more slack. Sorry for the uh, noise in the background. Bam, super easy. Nice and easy. All right, there, there's your water bottle. There's your carabiner. So you hang this like so. Actually, let's get it 100% right. 100% right, guys, let's do it. All right. So twist and lock this, and then technically you would hang it like so. All right, so you string this from tree to tree, branch to branch, and you got your water bottle safely secured above the ground. That way it doesn't get in the mud or anything like that, and no animals can get to it unless they crawl across the paracord, which is possible, but realistically, no one's gonna crawl across, animals aren't gonna crawl across your paracord to get your water bottle. If it's on the ground, you have more of a chance of them rummaging through your pack and stuff like that and damaging it, and then you'll be SOL because you'll be out of water. Now, onto the one item that I'm actually looking forward to even more. Let's look at this paracord real quick. It says, it says, built with a seven strand nylon core, holds up to 550 pounds. So that's hence the 550 paracord. It's 30 feet of paracord to ensure that you're well equipped. Uh, what's all the hype about? Cord is multifunctional, great for tying down, hanging, securing gear. Just might be the most important piece of gear in your next kit. So that's good right there. Let's see if I can put this back together. I really doubt it. Might get lucky. Don't ask 
asked how I did that. I got back in the seat. All right. So, Nomad Packable Duffel. So this box is empty now. These boxes do come with four items. There's nothing else in there. See that? So, here are tomatoes when we're done with something. You know what we do? Throw it out of the way. Ah, sweet tea with lemon. All right, the duffel bag. Let's check it out. It says mountain to city. And it's, oh, so it's literally a packable duffel bag. It comes in its own little pouch. I like that. So let's read the description of the duffel bag provided to us by Nomadic. It says, don't underestimate how much this 22 liter duffel can hold. Small but mighty, the bag is made from a durable reinforced nylon and is perfect for your next trip. Organize your camping gear, pack it full for your next trip, or stuff the whole bag in the inner pocket before you travel. This is one bag for all your needs. Now, multi-purpose bags are awesome. Anything that you can use for more than one purpose is awesome. So, I'm opening it up. It smells like an inflatable. Let's see exactly how big it is. Oh, it folds into itself. Awesome. So you never lose the pouch. That's pretty awesome. So 22 liters. So this is about the size of a gym bag. Oh, you can see here, it's about the size of a gym bag. I'd say this is a good, I don't know how my tools would be. It's about 18 inches. You can see that. It's pretty strong, durable. It has one zipper. It says Cold Tree. This may be the brand. I believe Cold Tree. Right there. Right there. And I'm trying to see. It doesn't say anything specific. It says Greet the Outdoors. I like it. I'm using my little knife to get this tag off. Alright. Now, like I said, it doesn't look waterproof. There does seem to be some little fabric stretching here and there. I mean, I wouldn't say pack it full, how it suggests. But I think this would be a good go bag. You can actually probably fold this up, keep it inside your backpack. And you can probably keep dirty clothes, dirty shoes, um, stuff like that in here. I don't know how much I would trust for heavy, heavy items. It's a decent size. Um, maybe just clothes alone. Socks, underwear, t-shirts. Um, stuff like that. As far as shorts and pants goes. You'd probably fill it up pretty fast if you did anything extra. Or maybe if you wanted just to keep. I don't know, something else. Maybe even some cooking items in here. Uh, oh, I don't know. This nylon is kind of thin. Um, I would probably stick to undergarments or dirty clothes. That way you keep it here. You fold everything back up. I'm not going to attempt to try to fold everything back up. Because I can't fold for shit. I didn't work at Dillard's. So. But. It is. Pretty durable. I want to. I want to. Try to rip it without ripping it. It's holding up pretty good. So I am going to put my carabiner, my paracord, and my water bottle all back into the duffel and place the duffel to the side. And that was for my first backs from Nomadic. But for those of you who are just joining, I have another box. This is my first true unboxing, so I'm pretty rusty at this, I know I can tell. So give me a chance, I will get better guys, trust me. If I look tired, it's because I've been up since 3.30 in the morning because of work. So, there's your seal. See the seal? Seal. Let me cut this. Oh, 
this is my welcome box. So this is the one that comes with it automatically. So I am still expecting, I think it was a water survival is one of the options I picked, I believe. This is the welcome box. Let's see what they got to say, guys. Says, trying to see. So what's inside it says a cold tree nomad packable backpack. So I got a duffel and a backpack already. Sweet. Uh, vapor shades anti bottle point five liter. Huh. Vapor. What was the first one? So the first one was a vapor. 0.7 liter, 0 0.07 liter wide mouth anti bottle. This is a Vapor Shades anti bottle, half liter, so it's bigger. Gear A Tenacious Tape Mini Patches. And Sun Company Wrist Turtle Compass. Anyone who knows anything knows if you go out in the wilderness, a compass is going to be one of the most important things. Julian, if you're still watching, you know a compass is very important. Um, any Boy Scouts, veterans, and stuff like that. You can attest to knowing your directions, north, south, east, and west, is very critical to successfully extraction, to successfully pull off an extraction, or to get where you need to be um, by a certain time. Now, oh look, it says, I also have Scratch Labs Matcha Green Tea and Lemon Hydration Mix. Ooh, and Ursa Major Essential Face Wipes, two of those. All right, so it says, tips for choosing your location. We're going to go with this one first. Whether you're going for a day hike, a week backpacking trip, choose a location is the most crucial step. Many variables come into play when deciding areas off trail is just right for you. Check out these five things to look for before deciding where to go. Now, one, miles. Be realistic when it comes down to how much you think you can hike. Whether food, water, supply, physical fitness, and elevation all play a role in the miles you are able to climb. It is better to do less than too much, especially if you are a beginner. So, for those who don't understand that, yeah, what's up, Jordan? Let me scroll back down. See, I don't miss nothing. So, for those of you who are thinking about going on trips or anything like that, don't try to go climb some crazy ass mountain or don't try to go some four day, five day hike Start off small. Go on a three-day camping trip. Do a one-day hike. Stuff like that. But don't don't kill yourself, guys. Or don't try to kill yourself. Or don't try to, you know, say, oh, I just did this. Because instead of trying to kill yourself, you may actually end up killing yourself. Because you're going to get lost in the sauce. You don't want that. Two, your elevation. So look at the elevation gain you'll be doing each day. So this is talking about climbing a hike. Or doing a hike, whether it's a mountain, a peak, Guadalupe Peak in Texas is the highest peak in, in Texas. It is up in Guadalupe National Park. It is east, you know, west Texas. Very high. It's a good hike. It's about a six hour climb. Uh, very well worth it if you haven't done it or if you're thinking about doing one. Um, the drive sucks out there, but the climb, uh, we did it at midnight myself. And it was beautiful. You got the noises from the wilderness coming all around you too. You little spook factor. But I would definitely recommend doing that. That's a good intermediate hike. Um, you got some little scares here and there with the, like I said, the noises and your elevation. But it is definitely something I would suggest. Anyone who's trying to kind of get, I guess, familiar with it, it's a good one. They do have a halfway point. So if you don't feel comfortable, you can stop halfway and turn your ass back around. So you don't want to be over a few hundred feet of elevation gaining each day if you are backpacking just due to the strain you're going to be putting on your back. So water. Look into where you can refill your water. Make sure you bring a water filter or purifier along. If you're slowly re solely relying on a creek. Sorry guys, let me show. You're slowly relying on a creek. In the middle of the summer for your source of water, make sure you have a back backup plan in case it is dried out. Very true. And so Julian also made a good point. It is harder to breathe in higher elevation. So the higher you go up, the less oxygen is up there. And it will be harder for you to breathe and you will get tired easier and faster. So same amount of energy you put forth on a normal playing field, 
meaning like a normal walk, run, jog, or a track session, same amount of effort you put up 1,500 feet, 2,000 feet is going to be harder for you to breathe. Um, I say 1,500, 2,000, you're like, oh, it doesn't sound a lot. Uh, it's like 15 stories. It's, it's different, all right? Uh, weather. You want to make sure your weather before settling on location is going to be comfortable weather to hike in. If you do not have the gear or stamina to withstand a rainstorm or the heat, uh, choose a different location, which is another thing kind of going back to with how the elevation is. Heat will play a huge factor in the stamina, especially when you're carrying a backpack. Um, with people who are in the military and stuff like that, basic training, you carry around your rucksack and stuff like that. Those who have been overseas know it's even worse over there with their high heat elements and stuff like that. Uh, I can't talk on that because I wasn't lucky enough to put myself in this situation. So for those who did, I appreciate it, Julian. Um, so you want to make sure that you are acclimated to the weather or you can handle the weather you're going to be putting your body through. Um, rain and sun will deter you. It'll get you down and you don't want to be in a situation to where you feel like you can't do it. Once you've already passed a halfway point or a point of no return. Um, so make sure you do choose something that you can do, you feel comfortable with doing in a temperature, you can do it or an element also. And last but not least, number five tip for choosing a location is the terrain. Uh, this involves anything from crossing streams, scrambling up loose rocks, navigating mud or landslides. From inclement weather, flooding or down trees, look up recent reviews of the trail or con contact the local land managers to find out the conditions of the trail prior to leaving. That is actually pretty smart. Um, I would think hopefully if you're looking at a mountain or cliff or something like that, you kind of have an idea of the terrain. But to actually call people who run the trails and stuff like that, state parks, um, and say, hey, you know, has there been any mudslides or rain slides or is there anything going on on the trail that would um, that you would suggest for people waiting to get cleared up to go do? I'll buy a word of that. Good enough for y'all. But all right, let's get into the box. So still closed. No fancy sticker this time. Go and open it back up. Now, the first thing that pops out to me is this, and this is the compass, I believe. So, Julian, this is something I'm sure you would definitely, you probably have like a few of these already, Julian. But let's just see. So this is the wrist turtle wrist compass with closing cover. Armored cover protects compass and prevents glare. Luminous liquid filled compass. Fits most sport watches up to 7 8 which is 22 millimeters wide. Designed and final assembled in the USA. You can't beat that, I'll tell you that right now. Small batch manufacturing since 1971. Register your warranty support, all right. Trash. Let's see what it says about the shade, the compass. Uh, it says, never get lost again. Directions and convenience all wrapped up in the one luminous and liquid field compass the wrist turtle compass is impact resistant and rests in a durable abs housing with a hinge cover for ultimate protection the 22 millimeter strap allows opening this compass perfectly to slide onto most sports watch bands giving you directions at a glance so there it is it even snaps closed i can see it is closed right there it is closed. Uh, I think my hands on the wrong side. See the clip? Oh, and it's pretty. Yeah. There. Yeah. So, Instagram, you see it right there. Yeah. Now. So, the lid also, you put the sun and it helps with the glare. The sun, the lid stays at whatever position you put it in. It doesn't close on itself. At no point. Let's see. I don't have any metal on me, I don't think. That way's north. Still north. So it looks like it works. There's a band for most sport watches. You can see. 
This is nice. It's actually pretty decent size, so you can actually read it pretty good. Let's see that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on Facebook just because the camera quality on the laptop isn't the best. Oh, you can still see that. All right. So, not bad. Nice little pocket compass, worst case scenario, if you needed it there. I'm sure you could probably even slide some paracord through there and hook it up somewhere easily accessible. Next is Sport Hydration Drink Mix, Maca Green Tea and Lemon. Now, I'm not going to be trying this. This is just a regular hydration mix. It says 16 milligrams per serving, and it is 0.8 ounces. And it is, so I guess the three, it says hydrate, fuel, and build. Looks like it's for hydrate and fuel. See that? Uh, oh, it's on this side. Oh, this side. It says hydrate and fuel. It's hard for y'all to see that. There you go. Hydrate and fuel. Let's see how good. It says to use, add a packet to 12 to 16 ounces of water, shake. As a starting point, drink one to two servings every hour of exercise. Now, that is going to be kind of hard in some situations because depending on what you're doing. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Depending on what you're doing in your hike, you may not take a, a bunch of these. You may save space um, or just forget to pack these. But it is a good change of pace every now and then. Uh, water, obviously... Is going to be your biggest factor when you're hiking, but a change of pace to get a different flavor than water inside you. Uh, this is non GMO, gluten free, dairy free, kosher, and vegan. So, for all you're really trying to get in touch with nature, can't beat it much more than that. Let's read some ingredients we got cane sugar, dextrose, green tea, magnesium, calcium. Potassium, lemon oil, we got lemon juice, uh, sorbic acid, which is vitamin C. And it is made in the USA from imported and USA sourced ingredients. So, not only does this probably taste good, but you're supporting jobs here locally in the United States. And the brand is Scratch, S K R A T C H Labs. Scratch Labs, Scratch Labs. So, there you go for that. What does it say for this one? Let's see. Scratch Lab Sport Hydration Mix was created to replace electrolytes lost in sweat with a perfect ratio of sodium and sugar that helps athletes hydrate faster than plain water. Plus, it won't upset your stomach. Like a sports drink with artificial sweeteners, excess sugars, coloring, and preservatives. There you go, guys. Next is... Badass little sticker. Just a little nomadic sticker. It's a, actually pretty thick. I like it. Just a sticker. No real review to do on that one. Next. Are some major essential face wipes. Are some major face wipes. It says four in one. <coughs> Excuse me. It says refresh and revitalize. Uses four in one face wipe. Cleans, exfoliates, soothes, and hydrates. Any time to reboot dull, drop, tired, or oily skin. Perfect for sprucing up at the office or after a workout when you're on the go. Now there's two of these. I'm sure my face right now is very tired and oily. As you can see the circles on my eyes. But I will not be using one of these. It's from Waterbury, Vermont. UrsaMajorVT.com is the website. Let's see what it says here on our nomadic. This says these individually wrapped bamboo face wipes are perfect for those busy days or travels. Infused with a generous dose of Ursa Major's 4 in 1 Essential Face Tonic Formula, these wipes clean, exfoliate, soothe, and hydrate your skin. Watch as these face wipes allow your skin to feel fresh even on the go. There you go, guys. Next, we have. Tenacious Tape Mini Patches. Now it says it patches holes better than duct tape. What? Better than duct tape? Alright, I don't know about that. 
It includes six one and a half by two and a half patches, three black nylon, three of them are clear, and that's it. So patch holes and jackets are geared instantly with tenacious tape. They're pre-cut, just pin and stick. Washable, oh, excuse me. Weather resistant and multi-purpose. I say guys, I do apologize. I have been up for 16 hours now. I think 16. We'll say 16. Let's see. All right, come in this cool little carrying case. It says gear aid, gear aid. Pop it open. Oh, and it clips clo open and close. Oh, it's not nothing special. It just has a little clip there. All right. There. All right. I said it comes with six of them, three blacks and three whites. They're one and a half by two and a half inches. So these guys are for jackets, tents, maybe kind of tarp or something like that. You have a, a snag in your backpack, maybe. You don't want it to spread. Um, these would probably work really well. It does say it works better than duct tape. It feels thicker than duct tape. They've got a little grid on the back if you need it to cut as your grid. Three blacks and three whites. There you go. There you go. Boom. Now, worst case scenario, if you did go on some kind of hike or trip or anything and you didn't have these, just take some duct tape. If it works better than duct tape, then duct tape should work just as good for the time being until you get your hands on something better. So, next is a another vapor bag this one is a half liter the other one was 0 0.07 so somehow this is supposed to be 0 0.07 and this is half a liter let me make sure i read that right 0 0.07 and this one 0.5 so unless they made up, messed up over a vape, uh, nomadic, excuse me, this is the 0.5, this is the, you're only, look Julian, you can't be telling people I'm only one and a half inches by two inches, alright, they got, this ruins the, the surprise, alright, so, boom, boom, see what you do is you tell them that and surprise them when it's two by two, Julian, boom, tell them one and a half by two, and then they get two by two, Mind blown. So here you go, just quick waters, just come with carabiner, just like before. So not too bad. So I'll go in detail here in a little bit on why I'm not opening a lot of this stuff uh, too much. Next is the backpack. Pretty excited, it's gonna be the last of this nomadic box. This box is pretty, got a nice little graphic on it. And like before, venture into the unknown. That's the saying on this one. Venture into the unknown. But like I said before, the tomatoes, when something's empty and we're done with it, go. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nomad Packable backpack. So, I made it in the trash. I just didn't see that. This is a packable backpack. It's from Cold Tree, also. Cold, Cold A Tree. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Same company that made the duffel bag. It is packable, so obviously, this is your whole backpack. This bag, carrying case, is attachable by here. You can use carabiner paracord. What's going on, Louie? But the bag is attached to the backpack, so you never have to worry about misplacing the bag for your backpack storage. Now, open this up. I'd say this is about the size of my hand. I got small hands. So it's not very big, which is good for, especially when you're packing. You want to use up as much space in your bag as possible. 
And you can throw this anywhere, it looks like. Maybe even in your car for emergency situation. Oh, yeah. You know what, also? You can even, it looks like, store something inside the pouch, inside your backpack. Alright, right here on the inside, maybe some money or something like that. This part will be against your back. So there you go. So we have one major pocket and two side elastic pockets. And this is actually a decent size backpack. Well, there you go. You can see how big it is there. It's about, say, two feet by... 12 inches, maybe 24 by 12. It's not bad, it's very lightweight. Straps seem to be very sturdy. Easy to use back straps. Very nice, very nice. So, there you go, guys. Nice party. Maybe not. But, it's still good. I said. Oops. But, so, originally, what my plan was for all these items, which I'm still going to figure out how to do. These items are kind of small, so I'm going to have to figure out how exactly I'm going to do it. But what I wanted to do was to get y'all more involved uh, in the, not necessarily the podcast, um per se, but more involved with me in my podcast. And I wanted to actually raffle these products off. So I need to figure out how exactly I'm gonna do that. Um, but I was thinking like one and $5 raffles basically. So like obviously the backpack would be like a $5 raffle. A duffel bag, probably five bucks. Compass would be a cool little $1 raffle, right? A little $1 raffle for a, for a compass. I'll probably throw face wipes and the hydration mix in for a dollar. And then these will probably be like maybe three dollar raffles. The bag three dollars a piece. This will be two dollars. The two dollar raffle item. This will probably be a five dollar item. I think this is actually pretty useful. And it can help save. Oh, I see. Not bad. See, it spins there. Huh. Not too shabby. Uh, the paracord with the carabiner already. Probably with three bucks. So, yeah, it's just something I wanted to use. Or to do to get y'all more involved. Um, really not gonna make any money off of it. Uh, I think each one was twenty nine ninety nine. So I mean, yeah. But the I was gonna use the money basically to buy more subscription boxes and stuff like that. Ask you what you think um, or what y'all would like for me to do. How much total those look like? Jess would like. Which uh which item, Sammy? I got a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, I'll figure it out, guys. Uh, send, me, send me a message. Uh, I'm going to post pictures of everything individually. Uh, I'll get a tape measure. And measure the duffel bag and the backpack out. Um, and we'll go from there. So if you think that's something you'd be interested in, uh, stay tuned. Most of it's probably going to be on my face. This is going to be on my Instagram. And I'm going to share everything on my Facebook. Because I can do it easier that way. One picture on Instagram will go to both um, socials. But with that being said, appreciate y'all sticking around for those who did. Julian, everything. I'll let you know right now. Um, and uh, like share the videos it will be on youtube in about let's see i don't know about 30 45 minutes 
But other than that, guys, uh, keep liking and sharing. Comment on the videos on YouTube. Uh, whether y'all like, share, comment. And anything, I'm going to keep it going. So don't think you have to feel obligated because I do this more for me than for y'all. But I do it for y'all to help keep me sane. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. Y'all enjoy your Friday. If you're going to go do anything down tonight, be safe when doing it. And I love the support, man. Bye.